you to the launch team and to everybody in the shuttle program. The crew is go for launch. This is the flight of STS-114, the return to flight of the space shuttle program after the Columbia disaster. Watch the top of the external tank as the whole vehicle flexes back and forth before release, and then seconds later, it's a bird flying above the pad. While this was always a concern for the space shuttle, this was the only time it was observed. Immediately after liftoff, the shuttle rotates and its tail points towards the launch as if the direction of the new attack range was near the rendezvous of the International Space Station. From there, the shuttle would begin to pitch up to go downrange towards its target orbit. And that meant, from the crew's perspective, the space shuttle orbiter was flying inverted with its tail pointing towards the ground. This flight would last two weeks, and in addition to delivering supplies to the space station, it would also demonstrate new in-flight repair techniques.